Yes, I'm Jewish, and I'm fortunate to have first cousins who are Muslim, Catholic, and Jewish. All part of my immediate family, making our family a beautiful blend of faiths and cultures. It's often said that Jews are victims, but that's not entirely true. They're not victims, they're portrayed as victims. The truth is, they built a country from scratch. In 1947, the UN proposed two states, a Jewish state and an Arab state, now known as Jordan, which occupies 70% of the land. The Jews accepted, but the Arabs refused. Instead of taking the land by force, the Jews bought it from Arab landowners through Israel bonds. The first prime minister even raised funds for a Jewish homeland. Today, Israel has 1.8 million Arab citizens who were either already living there or chose to become Israeli citizens. They have representation on the Supreme Court and in the political party Kanasa, similar to the Senate. This proves that Israel is not an apartheid state. The refusal to accept a Jewish state is rooted in a deeper narrative, one that draws on the ancient conflict between Abraham's sons, Isaac and Ishmael. While Abraham had eight sons in total, the Torah highlights the rivalry between these two sons, born to different mothers. Isaac, the son of Sarah, represents the Jewish people, while Ishmael, the son of Hagar, represents the Arab nations. The Torah suggests that that conflict will be perpetual, with Isaac's descendants destined to be a blessing to all nations, and Ishmael's descendants destined to be a wild donkey of a man. In conflict with all this ancient narrative is still played out today, with those outside of Israel refusing to accept the Jewish state and preferring to perpetuate the conflict.